This is a story about sick-looking tomatoes and mushrooms growing in your grass. Does it hurt the lawn? And if so, what do you do? I'll show you. Ah, doesn't that feel good? Although most of us don't like the look of toadstools or mushrooms in our lawn, they're actually good for it. So repeat after me. Mushrooms are good for my lawn. Mushrooms are good for my lawn. Okay, so master gardeners say mushrooms are a sign of a very good, healthy lawn. Just stomp on them or rake them into the grass. It's too hard to get to the root of them. They're coming from much deeper in the soil. Uh, and they're, they're needing organic matter to feed off of, so if you knock them down, they'll dry up. So, one problem solved. Next. Well, I've got some rotten green tomatoes, and I'm trying to figure out what I need to do with them. Well, as you've gathered, the plant is kaput. But can you save the tomato seeds for next year? Left like this, a blight will fall on you. Well, not you, but your tomatoes. You see, there's a fungus called blight, and it will stay in the soil over winter and infect your tomatoes next year, which is not, as Martha said, a good thing. So get rid of that crud. Cleanup is critical. Throw it all in the garbage. Do not put it in your compost pile. This fungus spreads. And the seed will probably be infected too. So pull up any sprouts next year. Transitions are incredible. Kind of like me. Yeah. Okay. Now.